Hey guys, welcome back to another ride. My name is Mad Max and I'll be your supervisor today. We are heading over to the financial district in New York City. And so far so good. Looks uh, very crowded here today. We got uh, on the way in, we got several notifications that there's some gridlock. So the goal for today's videos is to use Grack Navigation as much as possible to get around the city. Uh, we're gonna pretend like we are tour tourists, we've never been to the city, and we're gonna let Grok build us a route to uh, explore all the different neighborhoods of the city and uh, tell us about each, each place we're visiting. There's a fire truck behind us, doesn't have his lights on or anything, so it should be fine. As I said, this is uh, a little trafficy here. So hopefully when we turn left, it'll get a little bit better. Some double parked cars on the side. Proceeding very cautiously because there's bicyclists could come out of nowhere at any point in time. There's a van pulling out here. Oh man. All right, buddy, go ahead. Yeah, we're gonna let him out. Cause he's acting all jumpy like he's never driven in the city before. And that's totally possible, cause Jersey plates. Setting up for this left turn. Excellent job. Yeah, we got a green light. We gotta move. Turning left here, quite a few pedestrians crossing. Come on. Just waiting for this last pedestrian. There's a fire truck pressing us. There's a car on the right here. Excellent job. Right, we're setting up right for our right turn. Fantastic. Well, the initial district is uh, 0.8 miles away and uh, about 11 minutes. Let's see if we can get Grok to help us explore it. Hey Ara, we're heading to the financial district and uh, I'm a tourist. I've never been to New York City. Can you give me some places that I should see in the financial district? First, the Charging Bull and Fearless Girl statues, super iconic. Then hit the 9-11 Memorial, Wall Street for that finance vibe, and the Oculus for wild architecture. Want navigation to any? Yeah, let's navigate to all of them. Can you just drop pins for each location? Sure, I'll search for those spots near the financial district and set up navigation pins for Charging Bull, Fearless Girl, 9-11 Memorial, Wall Street and the Oculus. You can tap to reorder or go. Got pins dropped. A for Charging Bull at Bowling Green. B for Fearless Girl on Broad Street. C for 9-11 Memorial on Greenwich Street. D for Wall Street. And E for the Oculus at World Trade Center. All half mile to eight tenths of a mile away. Tap one to navigate or reorder the route. Just add them all to the route in the order you described, that's fine. Route set. Charging Bull first, then Fearless Girl, 9-11 Memorial, Wall Street, and Oculus last. About two miles total, 20 minute drive, ETA around 10.02. Tap to tweak. I don't see the points on the map. Pins should be on your map as A through E. Try zooming out or swiping the nav bar. Can you just Refresh add them to the navigation? Route updated with all stops. A Charging Bull, B, Fearless Girl, C, 9-11 Memorial, D, Wall Street, then E, Oculus. Navigation active. Half mile to first stop, 10 minutes away. Tap to adjust. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of those uh, spots on the map. Check your nav bar or layers for the A, B, C, D, E pins. Might be zoomed in tight. Swipe down on the map or tap refresh. 
If still missing, say cancel root and I'll reset it fresh. Yeah, cancel root and reset it fresh. Root rust set fresh. A, charging bull at Bowling Green. B, fearless girl on Broad Street. C, 9-11 Memorial on Greenwich Street. D, Wall Street. Pins dropped, half mile to first. Oculus search failed, so skipped it. Tap to start nav or add manually. Can you just add them all to my trip? Root set with all stops. A, charging bull. B, fearless girl. C, 9-11 Memorial. D, Wall Street. About 1.5 miles total, 15 minutes. Pins on map now. Tap to go or reorder. Uh, I don't see any pins on the map. I really need you to put them on the map. At least add the first destination, Charging Bull. Route set to just A. Charging Bull at Bowling Green. 0 0.7 miles, five minutes away. Excellent. Tap to start or add more. Now add the rest of them after the Charging Bull. Route updated. Charging Bull first, then Fearless Girl. 9-11 Memorial and Museum. Wall Street last. 0 0.6 miles total. Nine minutes to first stop. Pins on map. Tap to start. Excellent. Thank you. Now I finally see them on the map. Yeah, so Grok definitely needs some uh, assistance. Needs some love. It's green and we are stuttering here a little bit because of the pedestrian to the left. But the car moves through anyway. I did some brake tap in there. Uh, we got this uh, big bus on the right to us and uh, they usually do tours around the city. So after we do some of these uh, stops here, that Grok uh, suggested. We're gonna try to copy the big box, the big. I'm gonna try to copy the big bus tour and see what happens. Grok should be able to pull all those destinations that they visit and then create me a route to uh, follow. Cavi honking at me. Yep, it's green. We're going. We'll be making a left here. Just trying to go into the center lane because uh, the leftmost lane is left turn turn only, and we need to go straight. Looks like these pins are all over the place. space. This guy's just trying to sneak in wherever he can. Kind of love New York drivers. I'm doing a good job going around him. And we're hitting the yellow, so we're going to stop here. Hey, Ara, is there a more efficient route to hit all the stops? Current route to Charging Bull, Fearless Girl, 9-11 Memorial, then Wall Street is already the tightest loop, under three miles total, 24 minutes end to end. No shorter path hits all without backtracking. Okay, thank you. All right, so that was an interesting moment. The light for the left turn was still red, and the left turn arrow, and the uh, moving forward turned green, and the car hesitated a bit because it wasn't sure for a moment which light it should follow, but then eventually it realized that can move through on the green. We 
which is uh, definitely some reasoning. Uh, these pedestrians are moving and trapping me in the sidewalk. They weren't really crossing, but they just moved towards the cross, the crosswalk, and the car hesitated there for a moment. And uh, we are on uh, 14.2.1.25, the holiday update. So uh, th we haven't tested this version in the city before. But so far it's very smooth, but it's definitely a little bit more hesitation around pedestrians, especially pedestrians. I'm not seeing a lot of hesitations around vehicles. It's pretty confident, but the pedestrians definitely uh, make it very cautious, especially around uh, crosswalks. All right, another situation where the left uh, turn is uh, left arrow is red, but we have a green to move forward. And that time, the car handles it no problem. We got green all the way down, and the speed limit is 20, so it should be going a little bit faster. We are in hurry mode. We're gonna try to stay in hurry mode for this entire trip. Lot of hesitation for this car. So it's supposed to go left, but then it decided to go straight. So wasn't sure there for a second, which made us a little bit nervous. We got a pedestrian crossing here on green. It's not really affecting the car too much. We have a guy reversing. All right, there's a uh, van reversing, so we're just gonna go around it. That's wild, just being very cautious around it because of the pedestrians and the van reversing in the middle of the street. That's cool. We're currently forced to drive in the bus lane because that's the only way for us to get through. And then the uh, young lady here on the left, she's talking on the phone. The car did not. Oh, a little cautious for this guy moving around. When I say a little cautious, the car like slams the brakes or, you know, presses brakes. All right, so we are, are we parking here? We're going to pick it up in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified when the next video comes out. Take care of yourself, your family, and have a great day.